Hello, uh, Snipe Trading here. Um, today is Tuesday, April 2nd. I'll be going over my recap for today. So today I traded three tickers um, down a total of uh, $14. Um, I was initially up uh, 116, but I ended up giving it away at, towards the end of the day. Um, so the first trade I did was SGMO. So SGMO, I, this was easy to short uh, from the symbol here. Um, and uh, I wanted to short this uh, around the this 1375 break, um, but I totally missed it. Um, and then I wasn't watching it, but it was a reshort opportunity here when it bounced um, towards that uh, same area. Um, but what I was watching was, um, let's try and see if there was another leg down. So I was watching for this break here, um, for kind of like a bear flag break. Um, you can see this, uh, bear flag forming and then breaking of this, uh, trend line. So when I saw this trend line broke, I went ahead and started short there. Um, on the five minute, I didn't see... There wasn't a lot of room because on the five minute it was retesting. Um, it was pulling back to the 50 EMA on the five minutes. And then also on the 15 minute, it was, um, I think it was the 30 minute. Yeah, so it was the 30 minute that it was also pulling back to the 13 EMA. So um, I didn't really look at the larger time frame, but um, I ended up taking profits there when it hit the 50 minute. Uh, or 50 minute, five minute EMA. Um, so I end up taking some profits here, uh, reshorting um, at this spot um, for the next leg down. Um, but it ended up popping back up. So I end up covering here and here and stopping out. Uh, and then it kind of consolidated towards the end of the day, um, just uh, at that same level. Um, and that was a $50 winner in the morning. Uh, so my next trade was VKTX. So this trade, I was I was long bias. Um, so I I saw this here, um, this flag forming, and then it was holding uh, this support. Um, so you can see it's bouncing around here, it's getting higher lows, higher lows. Um, so but what happened was it didn't have enough volume. Um, I, I try to enter uh, a long position here um, for this support level, uh, re-added it, and then I end up stopping it out. So that was like a $30 loss. Um, and then I, when I saw it, it's creating the higher lows here. I, I end up starting uh, my long position again here and then added here. And then I sold at this um, mark here and then I went to sell some at the high of day. Uh, it didn't really get there, um, but I ended up uh, selling some more there and then stopping out the rest here. So this trade I I made um, like uh, $90 or so. Um, and and then I was actually up like 70 bucks on VKTX. Um, and then towards the end of the day, um, you can see I bought this, I tried to buy this, uh, this larger flag here um, for for the continuation high because the daily chart doesn't look too bad um, you can see that the trend is turning back it's going back up and I thought it was going to continue breakout and maybe go towards uh, $11 uh, but what eventually happened was um, the high of day here was uh, 1057 and then it hit like 1058 here so I bought high of day there around 10.57. Uh, it hit 10.58, um, but you can see it wasn't enough volume. So um, the chart really needs to have volume backed up um, to have um, any big movement. So when that fell, um, it kind of sold off. And then um, when, during this pop here, I should have uh, taken it off, um, but I wanted to give it uh, a chance to run. 
So my initial stop was, I think, right here at 1047. So I end up, um, when it fell, to, fell here again, I end up stopping out uh, during this trend line break and this 1047, uh, which was my uh, initial plan. And that actually got me like a um, $100 loss, um, which put me down for negative 35 for that, uh, for this ticker, uh, VKTX. So, um, and then the other trade that I did was Lyft. So Lyft, uh, IPO the three days ago, a few days ago. Um, and I saw it's kind of basing here. So you can see uh, during pre-market here, and then it was creating higher lows. And, and then I was um, anticipating for maybe a bounce, uh, maybe back towards uh, 70, 75 area. Um, and it was forming this nice flag um, cup and handle. So you can see this cup and handle. It broke, retested, um, and then it went a little higher, but it it didn't hold. So I, I bought this uh, cup break. Um, I didn't sell any here. Uh, could have sold this for, for like a $40 um, gain, but I wanted the bigger picture. Um, I wanted to get back over 70. That was my goal. So I wanted to take a little bit of risk there um, and, and stop out at uh, 68.50, um, which was the break of this trend line and the break of my uh, initial, uh, the higher higher low here. So I ended up stopping out there for uh, just a $28 loss, but um, uh, it, it kind of, it came back right after I stopped out. Um, so, um, I, I can see Lyft uh, kind of having a small bounce here towards uh, maybe uh, this $75 area. Um, so I'll, I'll be keeping it on watch. So yeah, so three trades uh, down total of uh, down total of $14. Um, so that's all I have for today. Um, hopefully everyone stayed safe. Um, in the in the morning, uh, it was a really slow. I didn't take uh, my first trade until um, until like an hour later, so I didn't really see any entry. So yeah, you gotta stay safe and be patient. Um, and VKTX, um, I think I I was too biased and I should have stepped away because um, uh, I thought power hour. So this was the last hour, and I thought this was what was going to run at least um but uh, volume is really key so okay so that's all i have for today um as always thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe like and comment thank you bye bye